why 15 archaeologists died after opening the sarcophagus of the king of Poland, science against mysticism, and the curse of Jagiellon. There are several versions explaining the death of archaeologists after opening the sarcophagus of the king of Poland. One of them is related to the curse known as the curse of Jagiellon. According to legend, this curse was imposed on all those who would try to violate the king's grave. However, the scientific community as a whole is skeptical of such supernatural explanations. They suggest that the causes of the archaeologists' deaths may be related to other factors, such as poisonous gases, microbes, or chemicals that may be found inside the ancient sarcophagus. Another possible cause of death is a lack of medical protection or improper handling of the remains. In some situations, archaeologists may be exposed to harm due to improper use of protective equipment or violation of sanitary rules when working with antique remains. Despite all the mysticism, it is most likely that the death of archaeologists is related to natural or practical factors that took place during the opening of the sarcophagus. However, the specific circumstances and causes of the deaths must be clarified with the help of the police and medical expertise. In 1973, a group of archaeologists began to open the burial of King Casimir IV Andrzej Jagiellon in Poland. Scientists wanted to verify the integrity of the remains after the events of World War II. After the exhumation, carried out with the permission of the local cardinal, mystical phenomena began to occur. One by one, the excavation participants died. The destroyer of this work will be cursed. Such an inscription was found in the royal crypt. This was the reason for the birth of the legend of the curse of Jagiellon. Soon the cause of the mysterious deaths was established. Casimir IV Andrzej Jagiellon remained in history as the great Lithuanian prince and king of Poland. In the middle of the 15th century, under this active ruler, Poland defeated the Teutonic Knights in the Thirteen Years' War, regaining Pomerania. As a result of the battles, the Jagiellonian dynasty received the title of Europe's leading royal house. Casimir IV was famous for his rejection of the aristocracy and for strengthening the parliament and the senate in the life of the state. His bright reign was marked by the era of the new monarchies of Western Europe, and one of the triumphs is considered to be the subordination of the Polish crown to Prussia. Led by Kazimierz, Poland has seriously identified itself on the European stage, becoming an important player on the international stage. Trade grew stronger due to the demand for raw materials and semi-finished products, crafts grew, and mining developed. For his achievements, the king was awarded a high award on behalf of the English Order of the Garter KG, which was the highest order of chivalry. During his lifetime, Casimir IV Andrzej Jagiellon ordered a warning inscription to be carved in his tomb that a deadly curse would overtake those who encroached on his grave. After his death, the remains of Casimir IV and his wife Elizabeth were buried in the Krakow Chapel of Wall Castle. After the active military events of the Second World War, historians doubted the safety of the historical site. Then Catholic Archbishop Kerr All Wojtyla, the future Pope John Paul II, blessed a group of experienced scientists to excavate. The opening of the sarcophagus took place with the blessing of Archbishop Kerr All Wojtyla. On April 13, 1973, a group of 15 researchers got down to business. At first, the archaeologists decided to act with careful methods, drilling through the meter-high wall of the burial chamber. But the resulting hole was not enough for the necessary view. And then the scientists decided to remove one of the wall blocks. After some efforts, the entrance to the tomb was free. Professional curiosity hastened archaeologists to inspect the royal grave. And only one of the group members half-jokingly warned colleagues, Recalling the tragic excavations of Tutankhamen's burial, Stefan Vale was the first to step into the burial chamber, followed by Stanislav Kozel. The archaeologists saw a chaotic picture, a half-rotted coffin fell apart, and human bones were scattered around. Judging by the fact that precious royal regalia and a fragment of a sword were lying in a prominent place, the researchers realized that they were the first visitors to the crypt. Fifteen scientists stayed inside the chamber for several hours, after which they were all struck by a terrible headache and cardiac abnormalities. Some had impaired coordination of movements. One of the microbiologists fainted completely, after which he could not sleep for several days. 
From a scientific point of view, all the symptoms indicated severe poisoning. But the very next day, the first deaths occurred. First, the experts who worked directly with the remains of the king died. During the year, three more research participants died. Felix Donchuk, engineers Stefan Veil, and Kazimir Gerliak died of a stroke in the summer of 1974. A year later, an aneurysm rupture claimed the life of Jan Mirliak. In total, by 1983, all 15 scientists had died of various diseases. This is how the legend of the curse of Jagiellon appeared, the scientific explanation of curses. But this mystical version did not live long. Science intervened in the matter, dispelling all myths. Initially, experts suspected the culprit of the deadly virus that could have lived in the sarcophagus for centuries. Another assumption was that toxic substances or poisons were embedded in the mummy. Scientists assumed that this approach scared away those who wanted to profit from royal jewels, protecting the graves from vandals. In addition, radioactive elements could penetrate into ancient tombs, mixing in close quarters with dust. These substances in high concentrations entered the lungs of the researchers, leading to the development of radiation sickness. A scientific experiment put an end to the cursed question. Microbiologist Bolslav Smek decided to take samples from the bones of the late Kazimir. Initially, this step did not yield any results, but the scientists left the material in the thermostat for a while. And within a few months, a sensation spread throughout the scientific world. Colonies of bacteria and mold grew. On the studied material, Agence France Press reported that bacteria had been discovered in the burial, which had not been known to modern science until that day. The researchers involved in the experiment confirmed that the microorganisms detected inside the burial chamber of King Casimir IV remained in a state of suspended animation for more than five centuries. This is exactly what caused a series of deaths among the participants of the excavations. The mold contained a deadly organic compound, aflatoxin, of a number of biological poisons. This particular analog is currently recognized as the most powerful carcinogen. High doses of aflatoxin cause irreversible damage in the liver, inevitably leading to death in a matter of days. Lower concentrations gradually suppress the entire immune system, damaging DNA and activating oncogenes. As a result, human death is only slightly delayed, coming from the development of oncology.